Hi, it's Dawn from New York State MLS. This video is going to show you how to use our CMA software that's inside New York State MLS. A CMA, it's a comparative market analysis. Um, it's also known as an appraisal. It's not a, an official appraisal, but it's more of evaluation of property that a broker would use. Inside New York State MLS, under the Contacts tab, you will see something that says Client CMAs. And I'm just going to show you what that looks like. When we go to client CMAs, we have a list of all the CMAs you've ever done. We have a search. Uh, you can search through the CMAs you've done, or you can begin a new CMA. I'm not going to begin a new CMA. I'm going to show you how to build a CMA from a subject property instead. I'm going to go to this listing here in the Hamptons, in Southampton. And I'm going to do a CMA for this property, meaning I want to value this property. So here's how I do it. I click Add to, and I click Add to a CMA. And now I can select a CMA from the list, or I can create a new one. I can start a new CMA right from here. So I'm going to click Create a New CMA, and I'm going to click, I'm going to just call it Southampton Test CMA for the purposes of this video. And from here, I can view the CMA, or I can just close it and find my comparables. And that's what I'm going to do. From here, I just need to pick comparable sales that match this property that I can put in my CMA. I go to search. I go to search listings. And I'm just going to put in some criteria that will give me search results for this property. And I'm just going to put in location, price. I can put in status. I'm going to go back a year. And I'm just going to do my sold properties first. I'm going to click search. And I have a bunch of properties. Uh, this is not a video to show you how to make uh, an appraisal. Instead, it's just how to use our CMA software. So I'm just going to select a few listings that I think might be good comparables uh, for my sold property. And I'll pick five of them. And now I want to get some active properties. So I can go back to the filter. I can go back to sold. I can click active. And I can click pending and search. And now I've got some active properties I can add. I want to add two active properties. And now I have seven comparable properties in my cart. I want to add all of these comparable properties in my cart to a CMA. I just click Menu and Save to CMA. I need to select the CMA that I want to add them to, which is the Southampton Test CMA, and I click Save. From here, I can either close this box and get more comps, or I can just view the CMA report. I'm going to view the CMA report. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight properties in my CMA so far. One of them is my subject property, which was the one I started with, which is right here. I need to move this to my subject property uh, section of this CMA. So I click on Actions and I click Make Subject Property. It's going to ask me to confirm. I do. And now I have moved my subject property all the way to the subject property uh, area. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven comparables in my CMA. I can, if I want to, reorder these by moving them around the screen and putting them in the order that I want to have them in. I can also remove one if I think that it's not relevant. From here, I can go down, I can add information about my subject property, about my comparables, I can make adjustments as I would do for an appraisal, plus or minus for a comp that's superior or inferior to the subject property. When I'm done with that, I would make my subject property remarks. My comparable remarks, I would select a property market value that I think it would be worth of what it would sell for. I can put in a suggested list price, and I can put in reconciliation remarks. And once I do that, I can save it. Once I do that, I can also assign it to a client, and I am going to assign it to uh, this client right here, and I'm going to click Assign Contact. I can also create a new client from this box. Once I'm done, I can click View my CMA report, which is here, and all of the information that I put into the CMA report will be here. It'll print out on a nice report, and we can print it out uh, here at the top, or we can click Save as a PDF, or we can email this as a PDF. If I want to go back to this uh, page and find it again, I can go to Contacts, and I can either find it under my contact that I just added it to, And I added it to this, and here it is, 
and I can click edit and it brings me back to this page. That's how to make a CMA from the search results and a subject property listing. If you have more questions about this, you can always chat with us online at NewYorkStateMLS.com or send us an email to office at NYStateMLS.com.